You're a superhero Alright, so what's going on everyone welcome back to our brand new video and today I'm gonna be reviewing the incredible bow and tell you guys if you should grind child 2 to get it What I mean by this is this if we go to the new child the new child 2 came out obviously you guys know that and If you go to the prizes there are new prizes So basically the tier 1 is a uh, it's exactly the same as tier uh, trial 1 tier 1 is the grenades and all that and Then he has again the bunny headset which already have and then for the last prize that everyone cares about is an incredible bow. And I did a last last video was that was the same type as this was about the Dark Doctor handgun. That was the last prize of trial one. And I told you guys you should you should you should get it now. The reason being I normally don't do these videos because not many people care about that. They just grind the trial. And because most of the trials are easy to complete. But this trial takes so long, it takes like hours and hours to complete, like, it's, you don't understand, it's like very, very long, and people don't have that much time to grind the game, like, people are, are like wondering, what if I just play for 10 hours, get it, like, you literally have to play 10 hours, what if I play for 10 hours, and if you don't have a multiplier, it's even worse, and people are like, what if I should play for 10 hours, get it, and then, the, and then what will happen there? And that's what everyone's wondering, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get it, and it's not gonna be good, and then I'm gonna regret it, wasting 10 hours on the game and, like, not doing other stuff in my life, you know what I'm saying? Many people ask me, is the Incredible Bow worth it? Is the Dark Doctor Hunger worth it? That's why I made that video last time, because many, many people are asking me. So, basically, I'm gonna do it also this trial, I'm gonna be reading the Incredible Bow. Again, I haven't completed the trial, but I already had the incredible bow, unfortunately, because I really wanted to grind the trial, because I really have fun playing the trial. I know it's weird, but I, I don't know, I have fun, like, I have free time to spend. But the incredible bow, I already have it again, so basically, there's no point in me doing the trial. So, let's go review it, and tell you guys my honest opinion, and my conclusion, if you should buy it or not. Alright, so the masters I'm using are this, are the burning spirits, the glass cannon, and the zombie bow. The reason I'm using glass cannon for the bow is because now many bows are not one shot because they nerfed so many, so much the bows. So I need to use zombie uh, glass cannon. And the armor is just the fluffy cap, the medic jacket, and the zombie scouts to get a faster reload. Is nothing crazy. So let's go ahead in missions and check it out now. Okay, so the act. Oh, so the, I didn't even remember that. I like the active skill is like recharges very, very fast. So it has two bullets. I didn't even remember this bow. And it reloads very, very fast. And it's a charge weapon. The, whole, the longer you hold down the trigger, the more damage it does. It's like the energy bow. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually a good weapon now that I remember it. Because I had forgotten it completely. And also, and also the active skill is really good. That like you slash the person like with a bow and you kill him. That's also really good. And if you use a reload pants, look how fast you reload. So yeah, I think, I think this is a definitely worth weapon grinding for. Because it's also, it's also very fun. Like... It's it's more worth the more worth it to grind for it than the Dark Doctor handgun for sure. It's way more worth it. Like if I didn't have it, I would grind it a hundred percent. Also, I would grind the Dark Doctor handgun because it was also a fun weapon. But this is way 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 better. All right. So basically, for missions, it's really really good. It, so it has really good damage, good reload. Because I also have the pants that give a twenty percent reload. The zombie pants, so you know, everyone can buy them for his zombie knights. So uh, it has really good active skill, really really good damage, bullets this decent, good reload speed, it has a lot of good stuff, like I don't see any negatives in this gun. The only thing I could see is that the, dam that the damage is not really strong if you don't recharge it. That's the only thing I could see that could be flawed in this. So yeah, I just wanna see how many kills I got in missions, but like no one really cares, I just wanna see just for myself. Oh my god, I died by that guy, Jesus. I don't think I got that many kills because like I wasn't playing four four kills. I was just talking to you guys. Let's get some kills now before the match ends. <laughs> okay, so like we got like thirty kills or something. I didn't really play forty six kills. Okay, that that was alright. That was alright for a bow. So I'm gonna go ahead in Team VS and catch you guys there. All right. So because there were noobs in Team VS again, I couldn't get a good lobby. I went ahead and joined a free for all lobby. So basically. Yeah, I just joined it right now, and uh, it's three minutes remaining at two two minutes and forty five seconds. But because I couldn't find a good lobby, I couldn't find a good lobby. I was just finding like uh, no prestige players. I wasn't finding like uh, tryhard lobbies, 
And I want to get a try hard lobby just so you can see 100% how good this is. Okay, they're all using post heavy, so like that's not surprising. But as you can see, it's not that bad. I'm just gonna play out this game. Yeah, like you can see, it's, it's, it's not that bad. Come on now, it's... Yeah, it's actually, I'm actually killing them for... Kill that guy. Kill that guy. And I, I even joined one minute late and I'm playing that good. Against them, they're just using post heavies and I'm killing them with this weapon. So this is definitely worth it, this weapon. I like how I'm also doing the trial right now with a bow. <laughs> it's funny. I want to give like a conclusion about this weapon. Or should we give it... Okay, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give the conclusion after this match. So yeah, I'm gonna give the conclusion after this match. Let's just play a bit. Because like, I'm playing right now as I'm talking, so if I give the conclusion, I'm gonna get defocused. I'm not gonna play that good. Dude, if we get first in one minute late match and they're all using pulse heavies and just using the ball, it's gonna be so good. Oh, it has good range. But the guy's head glitching, that's fine. But he has good range, he has good range. It would have hit him if he wasn't head glitching. Okay, let's see now. Let's go. If we go here, he can't head glitch. Yeah, it's only accuracy, it's kind of bad. It has good range, if you saw. So, the only thing bad about it is accuracy. Come on, I really need to kill someone with accuracy. I don't think I will, but... Let's try it out. No, come on, now, last minute. Okay, let's get the last kill. Nope. So, let's see how we went. <laughs> First time playing, baby. Let's see how we went. Okay, we went third with 19 to 8, and we joined one minute late, mind that. We go would have gotten first. Yeah, Royal Gun was just a good map for this, and the lobby wasn't that bad, as you can see. So, it was actually a good lobby. So, overall, this weapon, you saw it, guys, is really, really good. It's better than the Dark Doctor handgun, so I would recommend 100% grinding for this. Like, there's no doubt. Like, if you don't have the time, don't, like, force yourself to grind. It's not, a, like, the most overpowered weapon in the game. But, like, it's a really, really good weapon, and a fun weapon, and it has a really good active skill. Alright, now we're gonna head to the conclusion, and the conclusion is this. It has really good damage, really good reload, the ammo count isn't that good, but you could say it's good for a bow, so good ammo count for a bow, really good range, and really fun active skill. The only thing, and really good fire rate. The only thing I would say is bad about this weapon is the accuracy. Bad, I would say bad accuracy, that's the only thing, because it's also a bow. So, yeah, this is the conclusion right now, up on the screen, as you can see right now. Really, really good ammo count, really, really good fire rate, really good damage, just everything, everything. Really, really good reload. The only bad thing, as I said before, is the accuracy, really good range, everything. Everything is up on the screen right now, you can see the conclusion. So that was it for this weapon, I would recommend you guys 100% to buy it. I also want to thank you guys, as I say at the end of every video right now. Thank you guys for all the support lately. It's been really, really fun, like, playing Respondables lately. Because there's no motivation to play Respondables, like, no one is watching my videos or anything. But now, like, every, everyone's, like, commenting and watching my videos. And so many, I got so many subscribers. And everyone's, like, hyped around the community that I make YouTube content. There's obviously, there's obviously a lot of motivation for me to go and play this game. Because uh, I played last time, I did a, a four hour live stream and then a six hour live stream, like uh, some days later. So basically, in total, 10 hours of playing the game on live stream in two, vid in two live streams, in total, 10 hours. And I did, th I did the trial and I was also doing like hordes and uh, Team VS and I wasn't bored. I was actually, I was actually keen to play the game for that long. And, like, there's nothing to do for me when I complete the trial or anything, but I was still playing, because, like, you know, I had viewers and I was interacting with them, playing with them. That's the thing I like. And I hope I see you more guys on my live streams. I'm gonna have the link in the description to my previous one, the 6-hour one, if you guys wanna, like, chill, check that out. And also, I wanna tell you guys about the Red Clan thing. So, basically, Red Clan is my clan name. As you can see, I have the Red Clan tag right here. It says Red TB. So, how to join Red Clan is this. You, if you go either on the Facebook group page, but that's not very active there. Like, not many people talk there or post there, but there are people. Either you have me on Facebook and go to the Facebook group page, as I have in the description of the video. You see it in this video's description. 
or you join preferably their Discord, the Discord of Rack Clan, our clan. And basically, the, in the clan on the Discord, mostly on the Discord, not not so much on Facebook. Everyone plays together. They play Origins. A really really active fan. I even talk there a lot. I'm the admin of the server, so we have like 230 members. So I would like to tell you guys all to join, go and join the Rack Discord. We all talk there. It's really really fun, and we I even go and voice chats many times. So yeah, I would also like to tell you about that. And the Facebook group page, if you, if you don't have Discord and you don't want to make a Discord or download Discord and don't know how to use it, you can go add me on Facebook and join my Facebook page, my Facebook group, which is the uh, Rack Clan Respondables. And also I want to tell you guys, for all you guys that have joined the clan, I want you guys to do as I've done in my name and put Rekt in your name. So I can, so put your name and put also Rekt in front of it as I've done with brackets or without, doesn't matter. Just have Rekt. So I can guys recognize you and like it's really fun because I've seen so many rec members and like when I play Respondables I'm like oh that, that guy is a rec member and it's really really fun to play with you guys or your rec members. And there are quite some people actually that are on the clan and they don't have their name as rec. And for you guys I'd like to say to put your name in your name rec so guys I recognize you and we have fun time playing together when we play squads every, every person is a rec member and it shows it's really really fun. Also part of the clan. It's not a compulsory thing you have to do, like I'm not gonna kick you out of the clan if you don't do that. That's stupid. But like it will be really nice to see people having recognized names for rect members. And even if you don't have Facebook or Discord and want to join the clan, the thing is after if you don't have those two, we cannot communicate with you and play with you. But you can put also rect in your name if you don't you wanna join the Facebook or don't have Facebook or Discord or anything. You can put rect in your name and then you're part of the clan again. So to be part of the clan you just need to put rect in your name. But to be part of the community, you either need to join the Facebook or you need to join the Discord. So yeah, that's what I want to say just quickly at the end of the video right here. So yeah, Incredible Ball, I would recommend 100% you guys to grind for it. It's really, really good. i see you guys on my next video. Peace.